Hello and welcome to Recess with Pumpkin Futs. I am your host, Miss Rebecca, and today we are joined by Miss Elisa. Hi, Elisa. Hi, everyone. Before we get started, we want to thank all of the essential workers out there that are busy keeping us safe, all the nurses and doctors grocers and delivery people, all the teachers, all the OTs, the PTs that are out there doing work for us. We could not be here without you. So big thank you to all of you. Um, and also just a reminder to please wear a mask. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's honestly, it's not that big of a deal and you're going to save lives um, if you wear a mask. So please wear your mask, stay safe. And if you don't have to be anywhere, stay home. So, um, do you, would you like to, Mrs. Ali, Miss Elisa, would you like to join me in thanking all the grown-ups out there? Yes. Perfect. All right. So we're going to look over here, look left, look right, up and down. Find your grown-up. And on the count of three, we're going to thank them. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you, grown-ups. <laughs> Great job, Miss Elisa. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so do you want to tell us a little bit about Treasure Trunk Theater? I would love to. Hello, everyone. I'm Miss Elisa. I'm the founder of Treasure Trunk Theater. We are based in Brooklyn, New York, and have Hello. classes. Brooklyn, yeah. We're <laughs> by Punk and Futs. We just found out the universe. Yeah. And we do classes, camps, and birthday parties for little ones from zero up to age eight. And we are based in Brooklyn, but we do classes in Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Hoboken. However, we are now completely virtual, so we are coming to our students and our families all across the country and even some overseas. So there is no reason now that we can't have lots of kids joining in on all our theatrical fun. That's so much fun. Yeah, that's, I mean, who, <clears throat> excuse me, who would have thought, you know, a year ago that most of the things that we're doing now could be virtual? Um, I think that people have adapted pretty well. Completely, and the kids have adapted well. They're so great at lo learning all the different technology that we're using, and it's been wonderful. They're better at it. They're better at it than we are. They, they teach me things every day. On, on <laughs> And what's so great is that all of our classes have always been based in the power of imagination, and so making that transition to virtual for us was much smoother than I would have imagined because all we need is our imaginations. We didn't have to send supplies. Nobody needs anything special. They just need their bodies, their voices, and their imaginations. And speaking of meeting or just having around, so I think you guys are gonna go on an adventure similar to a superhero, is this correct? That sounds about right. We'll have to see what our treasure trunk has, but if you have something like a cape or a blanket or a towel nearby, you might wanna have it handy for our adventure. Sounds delightful. So if you guys have any questions out there, please ask away. Um, we'll, we'll, there'll be a 20 second lag, but that's not that big a deal. Um, Shanique was back in the background. She'll post them up for Miss Elise to see. Miss, Miss Elisa, kind of tongue twister. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Miss, Miss <Really>? Elisa. <laughs> All right, so I think that you guys should get started. Yes, I am so excited to start our special adventure with all of you today, my friends. Right. And like Miss Rebecca said, thanks, Miss Rebecca, there is a little lag, but I would love to have some of your wonderful ideas today. So there's going to be a couple times that I might ask you for a suggestion, and you or if you have a grown-up nearby can type it into the chat, and we will make sure to try to incorporate it into today's adventure. Now, my friends, I am so excited to be here with all of you today at recess because we have a magical adventure to go on. And right behind me is our home treasure trunk in Brooklyn. Now, before we can open up our treasure trunk and see what's inside for today's adventure, there's always three things that we have to warm up. One of those things is our bodies. Can you try that with me? We're gonna stick our arms straight out in front of us and we're gonna shake, shake, shake as we say our bodies. The second thing we have to warm up is our voices. So we're gonna try and make a big waterfall rainbow like this with our fingers as we say our voices. And then the third and most important thing that we are gonna warm up, we were just talking about it, is our imaginations. So let's stretch out our pointer fingers today. 
make sure they're ready to go. And we're going to tap, tap, tap as we say our imaginations. All right, my friends, let's put those three things together that we are going to warm up today. It's our bodies and our voices and our imaginations. And then we will open up our treasure trunk and see what we have for today's adventure. And whoa, oh my goodness. My friends, did you see that? A magical fairy is flying around my room. And I think there might be a magical fairy flying around your room too. Can we reach up, 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 whoop, and grab that magical fairy? And let's take a listen with their little tiny fairy voices. Oh boy, the fairies are telling us that they want to play a special game with us today. Does that sound like fun? Oh my goodness, the fairies said that they want us to try and catch them as they fly around the room. But to catch them, they're going to tell us what animal we have to move our body like. So let me see what they want us to do first today. And my friends at home, if you hear your fairy telling you an animal that we should move like, you can type it into the chat today. Let's see what they want us to do first. Oh, oh boy, the fairies want us to hop like bunny rabbits to catch them. So on the count of three, we're gonna let our fairies go and hop like bunny rabbits around our room to catch them. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, whoosh. Can I see your big hopping bunny feet? And maybe you've got some floppy bunny ears today as we hop and hop and catching those fairies and maybe shake your little bunny tails. Can you shake your bunny tails? <laughs> so cute, we're gonna hop. Hop like bunnies and catching all of those fairies out of the sky. Hop and let's hop back to our spots and grab that last fairy. Whoop. And we're gonna take another listen. Oh boy. The fairies said that they want us to waddle like penguins to catch them. Penguins are one of my favorite animals. So, yep, they want us to waddle like penguins and maybe even slide down an icy hill. So on the count of three, we're gonna let go of our fairies. Are you ready? One, two, three, whoosh. Can you waddle? Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. And maybe use those penguin, are they flippers or penguin arm wings? Whatever they have, we're gonna use those to try to catch those fairies. Ooh, it's kind of hard when you're a penguin. It gets really slippery. Whoop. And maybe we can slide down the big icy hill. And catch a few more fairies as we waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Amazing waddling, everyone. And let's catch all those fairies. Whoop. And let's take another listen. Oh boy. And if you hear your fairies, feel free to type it in the chat as well. And I think the next thing our fairies want us to do is they want us to stomp like dinosaurs to catch them. Oh boy, we're gonna be big dinosaurs with big dinosaur feet on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three, whoosh. How big can you stomp your feet today? Whoa, boom, boom. My goodness, my big dinosaur feet are making the whole room shake. Whoa. And can you give me a big dinosaur roar? Roar. Whoa, let's keep stomping like big dinosaurs using those dinosaur claws to catch all of our fairies today. Boom. Wow, and stomp all the way back once you've caught your fairies. And we're gonna hold them nice and close. And I think we're gonna take one more and listen to our fairies today. Oh boy. The fairies want us to be swimming fishies in the sea to catch them. Oh boy, can I see your fishy faces? Ooh. Fishy faces to me are very silly looking. All right, we have our fishy faces ready on the count of three. Let's let our fairies go. And we're gonna swim like fishies in the sea to catch them. In one, two, three, whoosh. Whoop, 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 whoop. Maybe you have little fins that you swim with. Whoop, whoop. Blow some fishy bubbles. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. And make those 
fishy faces. Maybe you have some little gills or maybe a lucky fin like little Nemo does to catch your fairies. Boop, 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 boop. And let's catch all those fairies. Whoosh! And shake yourself dry. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna take a listen. And our fairy said that they had so much fun playing with us today, but it's time for them to fly back to fairyland. Before they go, can we tell them, thank you for playing fairies. Thank you for playing fairies. And let's say, we'll see you again soon. We'll see you again soon. And let's let them go on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three, whoosh. Bye-bye, fairies. Thanks for playing. Oh, I love when those fairies come to play with us and help us warm up. Now, it's time for us to warm up our voices a little bit. And I always like to make sure that my face is nice and stretched out and ready to go. So my friends, can you show me a face as big as a lion? How big can you make your face? <laughs> And then we're gonna squish our face really teeny tiny, like we're little tiny mice, ready? Mm, how small can you make it? Oh, so cute, and then big like a lion. And small like a mouse, big like a lion. And a mouse, lion, mouse, lion, mouse, lion, mouse, lion, mouse. <laughs> Whoa, that got silly. Great job. All right, we are going to warm up our voices with a tongue twister. Now, if you have never done a tongue twister, I'm gonna tell you what it is. It's a sentence that has a lot of the same sounds in it. So sometimes when you say it, your tongue uh, might feel like it gets all blah, 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 twisted up. So our tongue twister today goes like this. I'm gonna say it and then I'm gonna teach it to you so we can do it all together. The sneaky superhero sang a song. Whoa. Hmm. I hear a lot of one sound in that tongue twister. What sound do you hear in the tongue twister? Sss, I hear that sss sound. It almost sounds like a snake. And do we know what letter makes that sss sound? It's the letter S. Our tongue twister today has a lot of the letter S in it. So I'm gonna say a little bit and then you can repeat after me while we learn it. The sneaky superhero, now you try. The sneaky superhero, and the second part goes, sang a song, now you try. Sang a song. All right, let's try the whole thing together really slow. Are you ready, my friends? The sneaky superhero sang a song. Amazing, I'm so glad you were all trying this super duper hard tongue twister along with me. And if it gets too tricky, don't worry about it. We're gonna do some different voices and you can show me those emotions on your face without having to say our tongue twister. All right, it's time to do our tongue twister in our low voice. So whoop, whoop, you're gonna get your digger hands ready. Can I see everyone's digger hands? And we're gonna dig down on the ground for our lowest voice. Are you ready? Let's dig, 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 dig. And when you see your low voice, pick it up, whoop, and pop it in your mouth, whoop. Oh, hello. Nod your head if you have a low voice today. Okay, let's try our tongue twister with our low voices. The sneaky superhero sang a song. Oh, those are very low. Let's shake them off. <laughs> Now, the opposite of low is high. So we're gonna find our high voices. Can you stretch your arms all the way up into the sky, past the clouds and the stars and the rainbows, as high as you can stretch and grab your high voice and pop it in your mouth. Oh, oh I kinda sound like a little lacy. <laughs> all right, let's try our tongue twister in our high voices. The sneaky superhero sang a song. Oh, it kind of sounds like we're singing a song with this voice. Oh, but let's shake it off. Whoa. All right. We are now going to add some emotion and some feelings to our tongue twister today. Now, there are so many different feelings you can have, and sometimes all at once. And we feel feelings sometimes in our hearts, sometimes in our heads. So can we tap, tap, tap on our hearts today? 
And can we tap, tap, tap on our minds? And our emotions could be happy or sad or confused or frustrated or scared or excited. There are so many different ones. If you have an idea of one you'd like to try today, you can type it into the chat and we'll add it to our tongue twister. Now, I wanna start with a surprised emotion. So can everyone try a surprised face? Oh wow, we're so surprised. We can't even believe it that this superhero is singing a song. And let's try it in our surprise voices. The sneaky superhero say a song. Ah! And let's shake it up. Awesome. All right, let's try a grumpy voice. Mm. Maybe we wanted the superhero to sing a song, but they decided to sing a different one. And that made us feel a little bit grumpy about it. Can I see your grumpy faces? Mm. All right, let's try it. The sneaky superhero sang a song. But I'm not really grumpy because I'm here with all of you, so I'm gonna shake it up. And I wanna do a happy voice because that is actually how I'm feeling today. Can I see everyone's best happy faces? Oh, happy is my favorite. And let's say it in our happy voices. The sneaky superhero sang a song. Oh, I definitely don't want to shake off that happy feeling. I'm going to hold on to it all day long. All right, I want to do one more, which is my actual favorite, a uh, silly voice. But before we can do a silly voice, we have to make a silly face. So on the count of three, whoop, everybody hide their face. And when I get to three, you are going to show us your silliest face. Are you ready? In one, two, three. Oh, so many silly faces out there. Okay, let's say it in our silly voices. Are we ready? The sneaky superhero sang a song. Ah, oh, those are so silly. I'm gonna shake it off. Wow, my friends, we have been warming up those three things. Do we remember what they are? Let's try it all together. We warmed up our bodies and our voices and our imaginations which means it's time for us to open up our treasure trunk today i'm gonna run really fast and get our treasure trunk right behind me whoosh super speed treasure trunk coming at you wow all right this is my treasure trunk at our studio. But what's so fun about doing treasure trunk at your homes is that you get to use your already warmed up imagination to create your own imaginary treasure trunk right in front of you. So let's all close our eyes. And I want you to take a big deep breath in and blow it out. And with your eyes closed, imagine your treasure trunk in front of you. How big or how small is it? What colors is it? Is there a design on it or jewels? Is it made of wood or cloth or trees? <laughs> and when you see your imaginary treasure trunk, open your eyes. Wow, we all have our treasure trunks now and it's time for us to open them. So I'm gonna reach up and I'd love you to reach up with me and grab a little bit more magic for our adventure. And when you feel that magic tingling on your fingers, we are going to do a drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. I think it worked. Let's see what's inside. Oh boy, there seems to be. I have a superhero mask in here. What? And. Oh my goodness, a magical superhero cape. And maybe you at home have a cape or a blanket or a towel or a scarf or anything you can use as a magical superhero cape. And if we have superhero stuff, that must mean, oh no, my friends, the super rainbow is not in my treasure trunk. I get to do superhero adventures, I always 
have a super rainbow that helps give us super duper powers. And it seems to have gone missing. Do you think all of you can help me find it today? Oh, okay, great. I'm so glad that I have all of you superheroes with me today because if we all put our unique superpowers, our super strengths and all those things that make us special, when we put them all together and work as a team, we can achieve anything. So I'm so excited to have all of you here today to help me as we look for our super rainbow. Hmm. Now, if you have any clues or think you might see something along our adventure that lets us know where the rainbow is, feel free to type it in the chat so we can use your great ideas. And I think we need to start by traveling to Superhero Island. Hmm. I think the best way to get there and the fastest way is to fly. So I'm gonna put my super flying arms on. And if you can put your super flying arms on too, we are gonna say take off on the count of three. Are you ready? In one, two, three, take off! Whoosh! And we're gonna fly through the air. Whoosh! 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 Oh my goodness. Whoa, there seems to be a lot of clouds. Oh, it got a little dark. Whoosh, okay, we made it. And oh, down below, do you see Superhero Island? It's not too far. Let's come in for a super landing. Whoosh. Whoa. We made it to Superhero Island. And oh, it looks like we landed in the jungle part of the island. Oh boy. Well, we might want to put some invisibility powers on us so that nobody sees us sneaking through this jungle. What do you think? All right, we're gonna warm up our invisibility powers just like this. And on the count of three, we are gonna say bibbity bobbity boo. Are you ready? One, two, three. Bibbity bobbity boo. Ooh. Hello? Where, where did everybody go? Oh no, okay. Everybody tap your head three times. One, two, three. Oh, there you are. Whew. Now we can all see each other, but nobody else can see us. All right, we wanna make sure that nobody sees us in this jungle. So we're gonna tiptoe, shh, like we're super sneaky spies. Are you ready? Let's tiptoe through our jungle, ready? Tiptoe, 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 tip. Toe, tiptoe, 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 tiptoe. <gasps> Do you see what I see? It looks like there's some rainbow dust on the floor here. This must be from our super rainbow. And wait, whoa, there is a giant flower in front of us. Do you see this flower? Look all the way up. I think it might be 10 feet tall because there seems to be 10 leaves hanging off of this giant flower. Hmm, I think there might be something up there on the top of this flower. What do you think? All right, superheroes, are we ready to climb up the 10 big leaves? Will you count with me as we climb? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Whew, halfway there, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, Ooh, we made it. Wow, what a view we get of Superhero Island. This is a very magical place. Oh, and what, what seems to be here buried in the middle of the flower? Can you all help me move it out of our way? Whoa, it's our super rainbow that we can wave and spread our super magic to everyone in the world. And it looks like it still has all of its magic, even though it's been missing for a little while. Friends, thank you so much for helping me find this, but we, let's see, we flew to Superhero Island and now we're in the middle of the jungle on top of a giant flower. Whew, we are a long way from home. I think I know how we can get back home quickly. We are gonna use our super speed running powers. Are you ready, friends? All right, we're gonna say super speed on the count of three. 
with our super speed running feet. Are you ready? Okay, get them ready. Here we go. In one, two, three, super speed. We made it home. Did you make it home too? Amazing. And look at our beautiful rainbow. Friends, thank you so much for helping me find this today. I think that I'm going to send some of this magic rainbow out to all of you so that you have some extra superpowers to last you all day long. All right, if you put your fingers up to the screen, I am going to shoot the rainbow to you in one, in two, in three. Whoosh. Did you feel it? Amazing. Oh, my friends, you are incredibly brave and incredibly strong. And I am so lucky to have had all of you today to go on that wonderful and exciting superhero adventure with me. Thanks, Miss Rebecca. Thanks for joining us, too. Oh, we can't hear you, Miss Rebecca. Uh -oh. I think the superpower turned off. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, no, I think there's some superhero magic at play. We can't hear you, Miss Rebecca. Can we all send some magic to Miss Rebecca? Ooh. Oh, no. Let's see. Oh, it works, friends. Can you hear me now? We can. Ooh. Perfect. You, that superpower magic is really, really sharp. I have to say, Miss Alyssa. Miss Alisa. <laughs> <laughs> You're still in all the super power funds. <laughs> I've got all the superpowers around me. And I even received that rainbow. That oh, super power rainbow. It's fantastic. I love it. I'm going to hang it on my wall. Perfect. That's a great place for it. I figured. Yeah. So I would like to say thank you to you and also sorry because our comments didn't come through from Facebook Live. I don't know what happened, but you are a professional and you had it down. You didn't even get phased, but we couldn't say hello to some of our really good friends on Facebook who are, let's see, we've got Jason here and we've got Eliza here. And Eliza said at the very beginning, she said, she said a unicorn. She wanted to have a unicorn, but you couldn't see the comments because our platform is... Oh no, sometimes that happens. But you know what, friends? If you want to be unicorns, unicorn horns are a great way to catch magical fairies, and you can play that anytime you want. I bet it really is. I really bet. So also Juju came. Hi, Juju. <laughs> so we apologize for that. But yes, as I said, you're a pro. You got this down. Your imagination is I could I could feel all of your ideas coming through the, the magic screen, not to worry. Yeah, I think you did. You did an excellent job of that. That was really fun. So do you think that people could contact you or or find some more ways to do do these kinds of imagination uh, adventures? Yes, we would love to play with all of you again. And there's a couple different ways that we are out in the virtual world right now. We are doing summer camps all summer long, and we have camps for three to six-year-olds and for six to nine-year-olds. All of that's on our website, which you can see down below. We also, for a wider age range, for our zero up to eight-year-olds, we have our Imagination Club. And that's an exclusive club that's a monthly membership. You get three exclusive Zoom classes a week that are just for members, as well as a every other night or every other week, Parent Connection Reflect Night for parents. You also get access to our library of all of our digital classes. There's over 60 classes in there right now. For ages zero to eight, we have six different types of classes that are categorized by age and theme, so you can always pop that on. So that's our imagination club. Wow, so how long are the, how long are the classes? The classes range between eight minutes up to 30 minutes. Gotcha, okay, so just, just the perfect amount of time. You could yes. find, a, find, a, find a time that's good for you. Yes, exactly, we have this style of class, our imagination adventure we have musical adventure where our teacher also sings songs and plays ukulele we have storybook adventures where you can act out a storybook along with us lots of fun stuff that sounds that sounds fantastic um and do you have an instagram is that is that correct you can we can follow you on instagram too yes we are on instagram and facebook at treasure trunk theater and our instagram is a great way to see what's coming up what's happening anything new and just lots of pictures of all of us having fun at Treasure Trunk. Awesome. That's, and I think your daughter's in there too. Is that right? You're a yes. daughter. Yes, little long, curly haired girl <laughs> who is a Treasure Trunk pro and could probably lead a class um, by herself at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, these kids these days, they just, they just have so much talent, you know? 
I mean, being your daughter, I'm sure she's got an immense talent. So <laughs> been hearing all of this since she was in the womb. So <laughs> <laughs> very, very cool. All right. And I think you I think you saw the that popped up on the screen her contact info. Um Elisa, if you wanted to um if you wanted to contact her, um you can email Elisa at treasuretrunk.com. Um so yeah, again. Thank you, Miss Elisa. We had a great time here. And you know, I forgot about imagination. I think maybe adults kind of, I, I don't have children right yet. Um, even though I work for a children's company, um, you know, you kind of forget that imagination is a, a, a muscle that needs to be exercised. Um, and what's amazing working with children and doing this with children is that their imaginations are ripe and fresh and ready to go. It doesn't take much um, to just mention a unicorn and they're in it. Yeah. So it's been great during this time too to still be doing these classes and, and keeping my spirits up as I watch the children and their imaginations come to life. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. All right, so thank you. And you know, please tune in next week. Um, we have Mrs. Ashley um, as in Mrs. Ashley's Emporium. She has been here again. She is a repeat guest. Um, and she's mm -hmm. going to do, she's got some, some books for you, I believe. I think she wrote another pumpkin story for you. So, um, so stay tuned next week and we'll see you then. And again, thank you, Miss Lisa. I hope everyone had fun mm -hmm. on their imagination adventure. Bye everyone.